Hi, welcome to Antinet Squishy. Thank you for choosing this video. Allow me to teach you how to play with yarn. Do subscribe to my channel. The subscribe button is at this corner over here. And uh, it will mean the world to me. And uh, check out my other videos too. They are all as informative and fun, fun to learn as this video. And today I'm going to make a daisy bandana. This is a V-shaped thing. So this particular video I'm just showing you how I'm going to join flowers. How you join flowers to flowers. This How I join this daisy to this daisy. So that when you get the idea of how to join the daisy or the flowers, then you can do whatever shape or size that you want. So first, my the uh, daisy pattern is in another video. I will share the link in the description box below. The link to the daisy tutorial. And this particular one is a big daisy. So here in the magic circle, I did 12 single crochet. And here for every petal, it's uh, a chain 10. So here I chain 5. I'm going to connect to the next petal. So I'm going to connect it here, here and here. So first, let me show you this. When you put your hook in, make sure this yarn is at the back. Okay, this one. You, if the yarn, the working yarn is over this side, when you yarn over, this one will get twisted like this. We want something like this where it's not twisted at all. It's all facing the right side. So this one, it gets twisted. So what you do is when you join the flower to the flower, make sure your working yarn is at the back. It's the other side, not this side, but not the front side, but the back. So you put through one of the petal and you yarn over and continue to do chain 5, which is the middle. And slip stitch to the next. So let me show you again. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna join it here. So you put your needle here. So when you put your needle there, you check and see where is your working yarn. If like this, your working yarn is in front, which is not right, make sure your working yarn is at the back. So you put your hook like this. The working yarn goes to the back. You yarn over. One, two, three, four, five, and I slip stitch to the next. And you see, it will stay nicely like this. So once you know how to join the flowers properly, if not, one of it will be twisted. The other one will be facing the right side up. It won't be nice. So again, one, two, three, four, five. When you want to join, make sure you know where you're going to join. When you put your needle, make sure this yarn is at the back, not in front. This is at the front. This is at the back. You give it a try and you will know. I mean, once you put it on a flat, table you will see one of it get twisted and you know when you yarn over you yarn over the wrong side one two three four five and normally once I'm done I do not cut the yarn first I just check first and see if what I did was right or did I join it to the wrong petal and I'm satisfied that I've joined to the right petal then I cut the yarn 
So later I'll show you where I join the um, each petal I'm gonna have 12 uh, sorry each flower I'm gonna have 12 petal okay this is the last petal for me so just in case in one pull tight and before I do anything drastic just double check okay two four six two four six okay that's right and this is how I join so when I have uh, six petal so four will be in front two connect to these two these two connect to these two can you see these two to these two whereas the middle part here all the petals are connected these two to the top these two these two to the right top these two to the left top these two to the side and this to the side and these two to the bottom one one on the bottom left one on the bottom right so each flower I have 12 petals so you see so this way if I open it up you will see exactly where I join it because once it's a bandana and when you wear it it kind of go close up together you won't be able to see you will see daisies everywhere but once I open up like this you should be able to see how I join it so this is just a rough idea and once this is confirmed correct two four two four six i have 12 petals i cut the yarn i turn to the back and this yarn here i have done hiding most of the tail here I'm going to cut this off this tail is just now from the petal this tail I'm going to hide it inside here hide as much as you can so that it, the flower won't come off so easily Now for the bandana, you will need a string to tie and now we are going to proceed to do the, the string. Okay, now I'm going to do the, uh, the string here so they can tie it onto your head, the back of your hair. So this is how the bandana look like. It's a big one. You can make it a smaller one. So here, one, two, three, four. After four petal, the fifth petal, I'm going to okay, let me tie a knot first. Oops, sorry. Tie a knot before I start to crochet, and later I'll hide it hide the tail on top and tie a knot then I'll make a chain of 50 
or up to the length that you want this is 50 I mean if you think you want it to be shorter you can go ahead so this is about 50 I'm gonna cut the yarn and leave this here first I'm gonna hide it around here later on this one let it be first do not cut it away so now here I have four one two three four I did one here now I'm gonna do one more here same thing I'm gonna tie a knot first you can tie two knot if you want And then from here, chain 5, after chain 5, you go to the 5th chain, here you go to the 5th chain as well, 1, 2, 3, four five there should be five somewhere here okay and I start to do single crochet all the way until the end it doesn't really matter if you're going to do it on the bum side or the right side so long you join these two strands together, it'll be like this, and then join together. All the way until the end. You can do half double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, depending how wide you want this to be. I'm just doing single crochet. You can do double crochet. It'll be wider. Oops. Or if you want, you have some flower pattern. You can also do it here. But this is uh, you're gonna tie this at the back of your head. I mean, like if you have long hair, your hair will cover this part here. So no point, right? You can also post a picture of your bandana, how your bandana look like in the comment section and show me your version of your bandana. I would love to see. Okay, it's almost to the end now. Just chain one, cut the yarn, and you have two tail here. Let's tie a knot or two knot if you want. And then, normally, what I do is I hide this knot inside here. You see all this single crochet. You can hide it all in between all this single crochet 
It'd be quite secure. needle in and then you put through the two yarn you pull and it'll be hidden in between here now you can cut the yarn so that part of it was is hidden inside here it's kind of safe And same goes for this side. Work your way up here through all this. Make your yarn come on to here. I want this hole here because here we have holes so I do not want to start the single crochet from here I should start from here about 4 to 5 stitch away same thing this one just make it go through all this and make it come up to the top here Then hide the two strand inside this single crochet. This will be very secure. Oops. Make sure it goes through all this. Goes in between all this so that it gets Okay, and put it through the tapestry needle you pull and it's all hidden inside here Pull every strand, make sure this is tight nicely. You know, maybe you have one strand here, I'm not sure which one. I'll come to that later. <laughs> oh. Okay, since it's just one, I'll just cut it away. Maybe it got stuck. So cut all this away and no one will know where you start or where you end so this is your bandana the string to tie on your head and this is the back the V shape part this is a longer version you can make it a shorter one so some like it long some like it short <laughs> so thank you for watching hope you find this tutorial benefits you hope this video benefits you you learn a thing or two so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next post